Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting the Iron Warriors from the Horus Heresy Betrayal to Kelf box set. And so as you can see, we have our model ready to go, and we are going to work on the lenses of the model and kind of give him a nice little glow in his in his lenses. Basically some nice little OSL effect, just to kind of give that impression that he has that sinister kind of look in his eyes. To get us started, we're going to use some white scar. This is going to be the base for the lenses, and we're going to do both the uh, the little targeting lens that's on his side of his head, as well as his regular helmet lens. Both we're going to do the same color, just for consistency, just so it doesn't feel like he's a... Uh, his head's like a Christmas tree with like, you know, two different colored lights going on or anything like that. And so very carefully here, we're just simply laying in the white. Uh, a little bit of the main medium was used to thin down the white, just to help with flow. And I do apply two coats in each of the little areas, just to get a nice, strong, solid white base in that area. And also to make sure that the coverage is nice and even as well. And so once we are happy with that, we are going to come in with some screamer, screamer pink. And basically, we're going to turn this into a glaze. So we're going to slap a little bit onto our palette. We're going to grab a healthy helping of Lemayne Medium. And we're going to mix it just into a little bit of the uh, screamer pink. And we're going to make a nice thin little glaze here. And we're going to push that uh, glaze up towards the edge of the eye. We're going to push that color about uh, two-thirds of the way of the cheek. And push it all the way up so it reaches that edge of the eye. And for this point here, we're just simply going to keep uh, working it in that area, allowing some of that color to build up. Again, of course, uh, between the layers, you do want to allow it to dry. And for the other side, uh, with the little targeting lens, we're going to push it just a little further down the edge of the uh, the nose and the uh, mouth guard, uh, so that it feels more like you know that the the lens uh, in that eye is uh, you know because it's a little further out, and so it would only catch maybe just a little further down the mask. And so here we're using a little bit more of the Screamer Pink, just to again to establish more color around that edge. Here we're catching just to that corner, again, because the light would only hit that one side of the, his, uh, that little grill on his uh, face. And again, we're simply just building up the color as we go. Again, we have a nice little fade up going down the, uh, the face to get us started anyway, to help us visualize. We, we can alternate it and change it up just a little bit. Uh, later on once we lay more colors down, but again, this is a nice solid base just to you know, help visualize everything Once we lay in this Fluorescent magenta. This is from Vallejo. This is a really fabulous color. It's great and it's bright And definitely do not stare directly into it as you are working with it. That's a little joke And simply we're just gonna lay it right into the uh, into the lenses Because it's a, a very bright color here. There's no need to like uh, apply any kind of uh, highlights or shadows or anything like that again because I really didn't want to diminish the vibrancy of the of the color itself but allowing some of that white to kind of poke through because the color itself is not that uh, opaque it actually has a little bit of a translucent quality to it which is kind of fun because you can see there it's laying a little bit down onto the cheekbone and a little bit onto the uh, mouth guard as well just to help build up some of that uh, luminance on those uh, OSL points where the light would emanate and again, because like I said, the color is not that entirely opaque, and so we have to apply a little bit more. And then here I'm just applying a little bit more at the bottom point of the lens, kind of like how we do with the brightness, or you know, if we were doing the highlights on the lens. Again, we're just allowing a little bit more of that white to kind of shine shine through into the middle. And then we're here, we're simply going to catch a little bit more in the uh, uh, edge of the helmet as well, and also on the little bit of the mouth guard again, until we're happy with how much we've built up there. As you can see there. And I think for the most part it fairly works. And then I decide, okay, well, I need a little bit more screamer pink. And so we're gonna just build up that fade just a little bit more. Again, because it is really, really bright, we want to have lots of this uh, color running down this face. Not so much that it's obscuring that uh, metal. We just simply want that little bit of hint of color in that in the metal, sitting on top of the metal. Again, helping us with that glow. Next is White Scar, and this is just really quickly just going to be on top of the lenses again. Kind of like the little spot highlight we do when we are uh, applying uh, a highlight, that little spot highlight at the end of uh, the, um, if we're going for like a translucent or like a clear kind of look, like a gem effect. 
we're kind of doing going about it in that fashion and we're putting that little spot highlight in there again it gives us that little impression that there is that little hint of glass or anything to it and so that is it that's it's a really simple effect and it is can be done really quickly for a lot of models i recommend that uh you do it to your models if you want it really goes by really easy as you can see here so do not be afraid to give it a try we've got even more painting tutorials in the silver mini wargaming vault you can catch another one today about how we painted the hazard markings on the knee pad just click the video description below and watch it right now. If you don't have a Mini Wargaming Silver membership, you can click the link and sign up for a free seven day trial. Make sure that you get the Silver membership as you get access to all the painting tutorials and you get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in the vault. And so thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming. <laughs>